Okay, hi Michael. Nice to Hello. see you virtually. Nice to Michael, see you too. Yeah. How special is this project considering it's your first album in more than three years and in time of pandemic? They're all special. Thank you for the question. They're all special. Not, I promise you, not one note that has ever left my lips has ever, I have ever just given away without thinking or worrying or, or being passionate. I, they're all important. They're all my babies. Um, the pandemic, in a strange way, made it a little easier for me to connect with people because people were willing to, to do Zooms. And all of a sudden, I was being introduced to people I'd never worked with before. And, um, you know, it was not it was easy for them. Instead of setting up a thing and you fly to L.A. or we take off to London. No, let's just meet on Zoom. And uh, it was interesting. I found a lot of the record was made with me kind of walking around the house or with my kids. And uh, months later, I went to go work with Ryan Tedder. And I said, Ryan, my little boy sang the song that I really thought was great. And 30 minutes later, we had the song. So the pandemic <laughs> and my kids and my wife have a big impact. When you see the music video for I'll Never Not Love You, you will understand that when I say that it's the sequel to Haven't Met You Yet, I'm being literal. It is literally the sequel. Oh. It's about promising to someone that if they trust you and they give you their vulnerability, that you, will, you won't hurt them. That you'll be true, you know, that you'll be the time where they can trust that they're safe to fall in love because it's scary to fall in love. Love is expensive. Love has a great cost, especially when you really, when you really love someone, you are, you're putting yourself at risk. And this song is saying, risk that for me and I'll love you forever. The truth is there's three or four singles that could have easily been the first single. The reason I'll never not love you went first is only because I felt like higher might be a better summer song. And I thought that I'll Never Not Love You would be really nice for sort of cold, wintry fall. And that um, I want to play this, I want to play higher when my roof is off my car and I'm driving and I want to uh, feel like the summer song. Very difficult to make music or, or, or even work it. And then, you know, before that, uh, I had come out of, you know, my son and, and just taking care of my family. And uh, the truth is, when I put my last record, Love, out, I was, I don't know if I was ready to come back. I was still hurting. And, um, and now I feel so good. And I'm so good in my heart and satisfied that I just, I felt so open and so happy to make hopeful and beautiful music. And I felt like I needed it. And I feel like the world needed it in a way. So um, that's why it chose me. Nice narrative. Thank you so much, Michael, and congratulations on this project.